Hello guys, Kill Zombie One here, and today we are going to talk about the uh, zombie history, from Black Ops One to like Black Ops Three. What a War was just a production, like a fun production for Treyarch, so they didn't really put a storyline or Easter eggs in that, except the music. That's about it. So the only thing that I would say about Black Ops One is that Tre uh, Treyarch made it so it's a big giant storyline in three games, where McTuffin tried to do like destroy like the little creations of the <clears throat> Samantha and Maxis so they do not interfere with his um, power but it, it obviously worked on moon he got the power he went in aether and then by step by step every map he did not want the power anymore he got bored because everyone died and everyone was fighting for their lives now the reason why that I would say he got bored is because in Buried he got out of the Aether by Stuinger in the group. Or if you chose Maxis' side, he became a zombie. So basically, he he wanted power but he didn't want the power. He just wanted to be living again and all that. So he did not want to die. So he made you guys in Black Ops 2 to do the storyline to get him living again. So now now uh, that would work. So basically, in Origins, the reason why the cutscene was all the toys and all that is because it's not real. And you're like, yes it is, what about the giant? The giant is just the ending of Black Ops 2 Origins. The Origins it was, it was the beginning, but it wasn't the end. The giant will probably be the end, killing Maxis, killing Samantha, and killing Richtofen, like the trailer, you know, proposed. You killed Richtofen as Richtofen. So, I believe that it will be probably like Mob of the Dead 1 or like one of like the great, le great, great leap forward in like Die Rise, where you have to let one guy die. And one guy dead doesn't really mean anything because you got three more players trying to shoot people unless you're doing it on your own, you know. Then you have to have like around two players to do this Easter egg. Now, basically. When you do this easter egg, like, like any easter egg, you have to find out what it is first, and then you have to complete the easter egg. Now, this might take a year, you know, because Treyarch loves taking years to do the easter eggs, so it takes years for people to find out what they are. So basically, my conclusion is, it's, it's a story to end all stories. So, there's Origins, where they teleported to the Frozen Dereese, a.k.a. when Richtofen did the power-up, they, they teleported where Richtofen was, and it stopped time. So basically, it shouldn't have not stopped time, because in regular Dereese, it was keep on ticking, but going back. Tick, go back. Tick, go back. And you can see that with a sniper. Now, in, like, the Giant trailer, it was only the tick on the 12 mark and it stayed there it did not move from the 7 to 8 it did not so basically so basically I'm saying that the origins will be the almost the last story of origins in black ops 2 and the giant is the end of the storyline of black ops 1 2 ish and almost 3 so now <clears throat> The next one I'm going to talk about is Mob of Dead relating to, you know, like, I would say Shadows of Evil. Because, you know, the only thing different of them is the eyes, the red eyes and the orange eyes. And then the orange eyes, you think it's Samantha, red eyes is some random person. Now, red eyes is actually the Shadow Man, as well as the yellow slash orange eyes, because basically... The orange eyes and yellow eyes, do, oh, and you know, like, you know, red eyes are kind of the same because the red eyes is just about the story of Alcatraz and how people got strangled in Alcatraz by these mysterious red-eyed people, and no one knew who they were. So now Alcatraz is banned, aka disbanded, so no one's there anymore. Now. There's been a lot of ghost stories about it, so I'm not going to explain it in this video or any video, any of sort. And I'm just going to explain how Shadow of Evil and Mob of the Dead are related to each other in the storyline as the same as the others. Now, basically, Shadows of Evil and Mob of the Dead are the same because 
they have the same guns. The cop has the same gun as the mob does in the prison when they shoot the guy in the trailer. And you're wondering why, 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 guys? Why, why, why do we have that gun in the trailer but not now? Well, thing is, is they wanted to tell the storyline in the trailer as well. So basically, that was able to run by in the same timeline as all the dead. Now, you're wondering this, but how? How? This this looks like 1950s, and that looks like 1990s. And I know, I know, it does. But it's not, actually. It's in the same timeline. But they have new shirts. I don't know why, but it's prison outfit. Now, basically, you know, it's, it's Italian, as you could tell. Alcatraz was not an American base at all, or like American... You know, prison. It was actually an international prison, so they had to make up something, you know, useful. So basically, your own clothing. So any clothing you like, you can wear. Unless it has weapons. So they strip you down and check if it has weapons and all that. So Mob of the Dead has more of a realistic, because it's Alcatraz, so they have more, you know, outfits. But some of them, you're wondering why that they don't have prison clothes on. Well... In Alcatraz, some people snuck in actual clothes so they don't have to wear it, like prison clothes, and if they're good, they will actually be able to wear real clothes, not prison. Now, that was a bad idea because now they killed him, blah blah blah. Now, having the zombie started. Now, basically, you're wondering, how, how does this relate to the, you know, Shadow Man? Well, basically, Shadow Man... They didn't really like exist that much in like the time you know you were present in you know so basically you know you think that you know like the shadow of evil would be like oh this guy right you know like no like it's it relates to all the dead really easily but the, like like the cycle has to be broken so basically one, one of the characters might have to die like weasel did so basically that's how that works out and how all the storylines connect to each other because rick Thompson has to die and basically one character has to die so mob of dead story is done black ops 1 story is done black ops 2 story is done you know so basically so you're wondering how 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 could this be so basically Treyarch wanted it to be fun, so they made it all linked together. So basically, they're trying to end the story. So, Black Ops 3 might be the last zombie, you know, game in the world to be enjoyed. And then we'll have to suffer another Ghost, aka Ghost Call of Duty Ghosts 2, which hopefully doesn't come out because that Ghost sucked once, and we don't need the Extinction Mode ever again. Uh, you know, but. Um, and then we don't need classical music, you know, in like a new Advanced Warfare 2 or something like that. So basically, Treyarch wants to end zombies, but they wanted to start it new and fresh for the next games and next generations. So now, basically, that's how all the zombie storylines connect and how Treyarch tries to make it their best to live and try to, you know, make it so that they could actually make games that are fun and you know good but i would say they should have bagged the idea of multiplayer but the only reason why i like multiplayer is so you could actually get the, used to the controls before you could actually play on zombies and on like online multiplayer so like on advanced warfare before i played you know like campaign and all that i played multiplayer so i could you know get used to the controls you know because it's a new movement aka exosuit like Black Ops 3 has, so it's basically World at War plus five fucking thousand. <laughs> Thank you, Treyarch. But <clears throat> basically, that's how the zombies connect. Also, there is a new mode, aka Nightmare Mode, for the zombie campaign. Aka, there is a zombie campaign, but it's a campaign with zombies in it, and that's about it. Just tells you more of the storyline and how zombies were kind of made in, you know, the present era. Or like the World War 3 era and not like current era, you know, so basically as you can tell that nightmare mode Can tell you like what happened like did, did Rick Hoffman die? Did everyone die? Did the zombies die? Correct all the zombies are gone everything died except Nova 6 started and destroyed this whole entire big giant building and zombies started to grow now 
that's how it worked. So, it's just at that one island, so I don't know if it's, it's bread or, not, or anything, so they could start off like that. But it's like a survival mode, like from, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 1 and 3. But 3, everyone was sad about because everyone loves soap and all that. And ghosts, dude, ghosts, oh my god. But, ghost, Call of Duty Ghost wasn't anything about ghosts. But, any, but yeah, so basically, that's all the storyline I could tell right now about they even teased the storyline and i actually kept on it and i i liked the storyline it, it was pretty fun except black ops 2 because i thought it was messed up a little you know because you know it would have been better if you were actually on paris like the eiffel tower instead of fucking trying to go in underground and try to get rick Tolfin back <laughs> you know that would make sense if you're on paris and try to go to the aether up there instead of origins you know so so basically they kind of messed up, but they kind of got it right. So basically, that's all for this video right now. Is because, you know, if the purpose is storyline and all that. And I hope you like my zombie map. Um, well, the zombies I'm playing right now. I'm on, like, round 7. And I wish you understand the storyline. And if I got too fast for you, I'll put all my words in the description below. And I'll actually link you to the Treyarch page and Black Ops the Call of Duty page. Well, and I'll link my Twitter and link my Facebook. Well, not my Facebook, but my Minecraft PC name and my Xbox 360 gamer tag. And I hope you like this video. And please hit that like button and subscribe button. And I hope you enjoy this whole entire thing uh, that I'm doing right now. And I, I, this is like my second good video I did on this new device called the Roxio Game Capture, and I wish you guys could get it, but you have to voice over if you don't have like a mic, so it's kind of sucky, so you can't talk to your friends a lot, but it's okay, so I hope you guys like this video, and hit that subscribe button if you like all these videos I'm doing, like the PC one that kind of got messed up about Minecraft, then um, like, like, like Treyarch, Treyarch isn't really perfect, but same as my videos, so if, if you find any flaws, just like just bag them and just watch the video does just, just don't hit that dislike button if you hate it just just comment what i have to do better and then i'll try to do that better now i hope you guys like this video and i wish you like how i explain things and all that so i hope you guys have a happy you know like weekend and well sunday if i upload this on sunday and yeah uh, or f f monday well, everyone hates Mondays, but, eh. So, yeah. So, I I'm starting to go by my schedule. I'm playing at least Zombies now. And I really like Zombies. Like, I really want to play Black Ops 3 Zombies now. But my next video, I would say, will be a Black Ops 1 Zombies video. And I will voice over it. And you can he probably hear the guys in the background, but I can't talk to them. Because my mic is currently broken. So please do not send me fucking mic messages. Because that shit is annoying. Now, uh, uh, but I'm hoping I'll get my stuff ready on Christmas or so. So I can upload so three videos on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Before um, you guys wake up for Christmas. And that will be your Christmas present in the morning. Well... I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to this video and I hope you like what I'm talking about and hope you like my opinions and if you do not then just just leave it alone just comment below what I could do better and yeah so just comment how your day was today you know <laughs> or how how what you, what you think the storyline means to you and how you know how how, how it depends on you Let's let's say that. Oh, also, I want to say there is an Easter egg in um, Origins and probably Buried. I haven't checked Buried yet, but if you, as you saw in the beginning of the video, um, where I went prone on those um, prick machines on Origins, maybe Buried, you can get points off that. And also, um, in the Giant and Shadows of Evil, it'll give you points as well. So I hope you like this video. Hope you like those little Easter eggs I gave out just now. And I wish you guys have a wonderful day. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter for more information about 
my my YouTube and what I want to be in my later life and all that. So yeah, so if you have any questions um, to ask me, you can. You you could simply ask. It's it's not that bad, but. I, I, I just like you guys. I hope you guys continue watching my videos. I I love what I do, and I hope you guys love this video so much. And for this last like three minutes, I'll let you guys watch some zombies. So yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Yes, 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 yes.